Okay, rock hounders. Take a little advice from a flint napper. This rock here, someone has completely ruined. It was a nice big rock that could have been used for any number of things. Cut, polish, slabs, making arrowheads, whatever. But someone has totally ruined this rock. This is a Hertzian cone. These are caused when some, something strikes the rock and it generates in a complete circle, radially, an expanding cone. This side ultimately broke off, but all these other, the other parts of the cone around inside here, and off to this side, even though you can't see it, are inside that rock now. If you cut this, polish it, it's just gonna crumble on you. All these little radial fractures are also a consideration. They're inside the rock in every direction around this cone now. So this rock is all but made useless and got left behind anyway. What causes this is one of these. You can see whoever did it has also hammered on another rock. Hit right there and up here. And you can see the resulting cones that were launched in there. Another piece of it here. This is completely unnecessary and just ruins the resource for all of us. This rock is unusable. It was a big, nice one that somebody could have made use of. But it's caused by hammering with that pointy end. This is completely unnecessary in this type of situation. If you come across the rock and you want to see inside of it, you know it's opaque, there's rust on it, you can't quite make it out. The solution is easy. Especially with obsidian. Simply, sorry, place the rock so you've got an edge somewhere. Flip your hammer around. You could use the pointy end if you want on the edge, but it's going to be more effective if you just use the edge of your flat end and give it a little tap on the edge of the rock. Perfect. Now you can see what the rock looks like on the inside. Decide if that's the one you want. If not, you've still left most of the rock here for the next guy.